Uh oh. Gage says it's empty. Guess it's time for a beer, guys. What do you think? I think so. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a look in the fridge and see what we're going to drink today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is from Long Trail Brewing. This is their Brewmaster Series, which is the good stuff. And this is the Double IPA India Pale Ale. Alcohol is 8.6% by volume, guys. 86 IBUs right here. Got it on the label. The date, it's not on the label, but it's in yellow right above the label. And it says this one was done in 012612. So I'm reading that as January 26, 2012. So uh, this is already June on uh, this review. Uh, so this probably should have been done. It's a double IPA, so it's going to be okay. But technically, if you want that super hot freshness, uh, you, you want to get it within the first three months. But being a double, a lot of times those things have such an alcohol punch. <laughs> a lot of guys like to let them set for between six months and two years before they drink them. So it's all personal preference and, and, and what effect and what taste you're after. The, uh, the, uh, the young double IPAs are going to be more alcohol forward and be a little more bitter than the older ones. So with that being said, guys, uh, it's just it's basically personal preference. So whatever you like. All right, the uh, the brewery is out of Vermont, guys. This is a like I said, American Double Imperial IPA, uh, spring serving. It says here on this one. So the food pairings for this is your typical IPA. The cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey. The pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar. Your more pungent cheeses, even gorgonzola and Limburger, go with this. The meat is game, grilled meat and salmon. Your stronger dishes. Uh, Burgers, steaks, chops, everything off the grill works well with this. And the beer can be cellared uh, with the ABV that it has. But just remember, the hops will fade, but the alcohol will will, <laughs> will mellow out just a little bit usually on these beers, guys. So let's get the cap off of this thing and let's see what this one is about. The, uh, the Brewmaster Series is usually their, their good stuff. Uh, most of their other stuff is fairly sessionable. And easy drinking, light taste. Uh, their Brewmaster series is where they kick it up to where, where the taste is there, and it's what it should be. And that's why they put them in the bigger bottles of Bomber. This is a 22 ounce, guys. Uh, over into the light, it is very, very clear. I mean, for an Imperial, uh, I was expecting a little more cloudiness than this, but it is super clear. So I would bet that this is a filtered beer. Not a super amount of bubbles coming through there. It's very golden though. I mean, just a tad darker, just a shade darker than this uh, golden. It's to the, uh, I'm gonna say it's to the amber color, guys. Looks very good in the glass. And I poured it pretty aggressive there. Let's see if I can get some kind of head there. And it poured a fairly good head and it's dissipating. We're down to less than half a finger of a head there. And the bubbles are streaming up from the bottom. It looks pretty good in the glass. Let's see if it smells like an IPA, a double IPA. Definitely got a nice character of grapefruit and, and a citrusy, piney smell. But I got a feeling that it was probably a little more intense three months ago, four months ago than it is now. For almost a 9%, which is 8.60, it doesn't smell that potent. So maybe that has mellowed out just a little bit over the time here since it's in June now. It smells very nice. I've got a nice, sweet, malty backbone to match up the bitterness there. Uh, I don't have the IBUs uh, listed here on this. So, uh, I don't know what, to, what they are on this guy. So, let's give it a taste. Maybe I can tell you what it is. I've got to taste it. Cheers. Wow. That's 
pretty balanced. That's a great plan. Very easy drinking for almost 9% beer. I'm not giving me alcohol at all. Very well produced beer. If they did this on the other stuff, it would be, be be delicious stuff. But just the Brewmaster series is what I what I'm getting the taste and everything that's, that comes together on the beers like they should for a really true craft ale. Now there are other stuff. This the, the plain and the, uh, the single bag and the double bag and all those kind of pollinator and all that kind of stuff are fairly weak and mild. Uh, entry introductory beers is what I call them. Don't have a whole lot of taste, but they're trying to get the that's what I'm thinking. They're trying to get the the, uh, the macro lager drinkers uh, into the craft beer, and they try to do that with a fairly light tasting ale instead of something that that we're drinking now. That somebody's going from a Budweiser or a Coors Light and trying to drink this, they're gonna say yuckity yuckity yuck because it's just too much to to come from that fizzy yellow water and try to bring something this potent. So that being said, guys, yeah, this has got a very nice combination of the malt and the hops coming together here very well balanced very well made beer yeah uh, another beer review right there uh, Jeff Lyons does some uh, does some reviews up there and uh, he enjoys these beers too and I do too the the brewmaster series uh, out of Vermont is very nice beers from Long Trail. So, guys, we're gonna let this warm up it's right out of the fridge. That's how they have to sip it, and we'll be right back and do the final chug. But looks like an A beer. Stick around. All right, guys, thank you for sticking around. I'm smacking my lips on this one. This is a delicious beer. It's pretty. It's pretty tasty. A nice grapefruity. <coughs> excuse me. Grapefruity pine. I'm getting a little, just a little bit of tropical fruit there too, maybe just a little bit of mango or... And now that it's warmed up, there is a little bit more alcohol present than it was when it first came out of the fridge, guys, so... Be aware that it is a 8.6% uh, a beer, so it's uh, it's not Coors Light, so just be aware of that. Wow, got an awesome smell, awesome taste. Final chug. Look at the lacing in the glass before I do. It's all the way up to there. Awesome. I wish all their beers were like this instead of just the Imperial series. I say that. I've said that already. I won't chug again. If you see a long trail beer and it's a Brewmaster series, as far as I'm concerned so far, pick it up. Uh, I have one more. It's the, uh, it's the Porter, I think, it's in there. And I may do it tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure yet. Uh, they're pretty tasty and they are pleasant to drink. So uh, the Brewmaster Series and Long Trail, awesome, awesome guys. Uh, uh, thumbs up on that. The only way this could be better if it had the date on the label, but it's in yellow right above the label. So, I mean, that's as close as you can get to putting it on the label. So, guys, I, I appreciate that. I can deal with it. If it had been written in black on a brown bottle, I'd have been fussing. But it's in yellow, and it doesn't seem to be too easy to wipe off, so that's good. I can deal with that. I mean, if we can just get something like that on the bottle, it'll make us all fat, country, hillbilly, happy. So, guys, with that being said, it's uh, got the date on the bottle. It's good beer. I'm going to give it a 9. It is a 9 out of a 10. It's definitely an A beer. Great beer has 98 overall and 86 in the style. I thought it was damn pleasant. Beer Abbey comes up with a 90, which is in their exceptional range. So, I mean, when uh, when they say it's an exceptional beer, uh, they're pretty impressed. So, uh, I, I enjoyed it. It was pretty damn good beer. So, I've had this one for just a little bit. So, uh, like I said, I probably should have done this uh, a couple months ago. But it may have helped the, uh, the alcohol uh, mellow me out just a little bit by keeping it just a little bit longer. But the, that's going to take its toll on the hot presence too. So it's not going to be quite as fresh and fruity, grapefruity and stuff uh, as it should have been probably. So I'm rambling on guys. 
Uh, give me some comments back on this. And if you've had this, uh, give me some comments back. You liked it, loved it, hated it, whatever it was. And uh, if you see it and you're a hop head, you probably already picked this up. I wish I had another one in the fridge to, to drink later on. So, guys, hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. And come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in that fridge. I don't know which one it is. There's about four of them here. We'll look in one of them. See you then.